Hey guys, welcome you all in T3P. In this particular video, we will talk about the new questions related to AWS DevOps certification. While going through the questions, I will share the solution of that particular question and also explain each option why that particular option is correct or not correct. So, without wasting time, let's get started one by one. So guys, in this question, they are asking what the AWS Automate primarily provides. The option we are having, security analysis as a service, version control as a service, web application firewall as a service, machine learning as a service. We will talk about the options one by one. Let's understand first what actually AWS Code Commit do. So AWS Code Commit is a version control system which allow us to store and version our code. So in this question, our answer will be version control as a service. But let's understand the other options as well. If we talk about the security analysis as a service, there is a different service called AWS Inspector which help us to analyze related to the security. Next is about web application firewall for that one we have a service called aws web service web service is stands for aws web application firewall in the last we are having machine learning as a service there is a service called SagMaker from aws which help us related to machine learning so in this question our answer will be version control as a service let's talk about the next question in this question, they are asking, how can you automate AWS infrastructure task using programming languages you are already familiar with? The option we are having, AWS Snowball, AWS CDK, that is Cloud Development Kit. The third option is Amazon Athena. And the last option is AWS Glue Service. If we will talk about the these services one by one, AWS Snowball service is a kind of a data transfer solution which supports up to petabyte data okay next is aws cdk service which is a kind of a cloud development kit and it's uh, known as a tool as well that allow us to automate the task using the familiar languages which we know next is amazon athena amazon athena is an interactive query service the last option is AWS Glue service. AWS Glue is a fully managed ETL service. So here, what they are looking for, they are looking for automating the AWS infrastructure task that can be done by AWS CDK service. So our answer for this question will be AWS CDK. The option B is the correct answer. Let's talk about the next question. In this question, they are asking what tool in the AWS suit allow you to model and provision AWS resources. The option we are having AWS Lambda, AWS CloudFormation, AWS DynamoDB, AWS EC2 instances. So let's understand each services one by one. If we talk about the AWS Lambda service, so AWS Lambda is actually a serverless compute service that allow us to run code without any provisioning of managing any servers. While it can be used in the conjunction with other services, like it can be used with cloud formation as well. If we will talk about the next service that is AWS Cloud Formation Service, which is a tool in AWS suite that allows us to model and provision AWS resources. It's kind of an IAC service, means infrastructure as a code service, where we define our infrastructure as a code. Uh, it in enables us to define our infrastructure and application stack using any declarative language like JSON or YAML. So with cloud formation, we can create, modify and delete AWS resources in a controlled and automated way. The third service is AWS DynamoDB service. AWS DynamoDB service is a fully managed NoSQL database service. It is used for storing and retrieving structured data and does not have a direct role in modeling and provisioning AWS resources. The last service, AWS EC2 instances, it's kind of a virtual service. So while EC2 instances can be created and managed using the cloud formation, but itself is not the tool which is designed for modeling and provisioning AWS resources. So our question asks, which is the service allow us to model and provision AWS resources? In this case, we will go with the AWS CloudFormation service.
let's talk about next question in this question they are asking how can you deploy applications in a serverless environment in aws the options we are having amazon rds next uh, second option is aws direct connect aws kinesis service the last option is aws lambda service if we will talk about these services one by one amazon rds is a Manage database service that provide easy set up, scaling and maintenance of relational databases like MySQL or Postgre, etc. We'll talk about the AWS Direct Connect. It is a service which helps us to establish a dedicated connection between on-prem environment to AWS Cloud. AWS Kinesis service. This is a service which is used for processing real-time streaming data at scale. So it includes services like Kinesis Data Streams, Kinesis Data Fire, Boss, Kinesis Data Analytics. These are the services come under AWS Kinesis Suite. The last service which is mentioned, AWS Lambda service, which is actually a serverless compute service, which allows us to run code where we no need to manage any servers or provision any servers to run that particular code. And we just need to pay for the time this code will run and how many times we are running it's uh, our cost will depend on the number of time and length of the time how long this code will run so in this case uh, the service which will help us to deploy applications in a serverless environment it's a aws lambda service d is the correct answer for this question let's talk about next question in this question they are asking what is aws code deploy used for the options we are having to store code securely, to compile code, to automate code deployments, to manage Kubernetes services. So in this question, we need to understand what is the actual role of AWS code deploy. So AWS code deploy is a service which is provided by AWS and it is used to automate the deployment of application to various computing resources. These resources can be your AWS EC2 instances or it can be a server on your on-prem environment or even it can help you for lambda functions so it helps developers to release new features and updates more frequently and reliably by automating the deployment process we will talk about the options to store code securely for this one we have a service called aws code commit which is helping us to securely storing and managing our code in a version control repository we will talk about two, uh, second option that is to compile code uh, code deploy is uh, mainly focused on deploying already compiled or packaged code it's not meant for to compiling the code okay next option is to automate code deployment yes this is the correct answer and this is the main feature of aws code deploy but the last option which is mentioned here to manage kubernetes clusters for that one we have a service called eks service also known as elastic kubernetes service from aws which is helpful for managing containerized application using kubernetes so for this particular question our answer will be correct answer will be option c to automate code deployment let's talk about next question in this question they are asking what are the key principles of devops methodology the options we are having isolation and control integration and deployment inspection and evaluation automation and collaboration so first we need to understand what are the key principle of devops methodology okay so first we are having automation because devops emphasizes more on the uses usage of automation throughout the software development and deployment process next uh, principle is collaboration because devops encourages close collaboration and communication between the development operations and other relevant teams that help us to deliver the project or application more effectively so uh, if we will talk about the options one by one we will talk about the isolation and control this option is actually the opposite of what actually devops is thinking because uh, devops break down the silos between the dev development operations and other teams so it's not about the isolation next option 
we are mentioning integration and deployment yes it's a part of devops that means it's a we can say it is one of the phase of devops life cycle but when we talk about the key principle it's not a key principle of devops methodology next is inspection and evaluation this is uh, this option is uh, not correct because while inspection and evaluation are the vital aspect of the devops life cycle but they are not the core principle the last option we are having automation and collaboration because uh, as i mentioned these are the key principles of devops methodology so our correct answer for this question will be option d automation and collaboration let's talk about next question in this question they are asking what service can you use to build docker images as part of your cicd pipeline in aws the option we are having aws beanstalk second option is aws code build third option is aws fargate last option is aws amplify let's understand these services one by one then we will consider what is our correct answer we will talk about the aws beanstalk service uh, this is actually a platform as a service which offer simplifying the de deployment and management of our application also it support docker based environment but it's not the primarily used for building docker images as part of ci cd pipeline next option is aws code build service this is the service which we can use to build docker images as part of ci cd pipeline in aws it's a fully managed build service that compiles source code. On top of that, it runs the tests and produces artifacts, including Docker images. So, code build can be integrated with other AWS services like AWS Code Commit, AWS Code Pipeline, and Amazon DCI service. So, this is the service which is part of a CI CD pipeline. Next service is AWS Fargate service. This is a service kind of a serverless container orchestration service which allow us to run containers without managing the underlying infrastructure. Next service is AWS Amplify service. It's a development platform which is primarily focused on building web and mobile application, not for building Docker images. So our correct answer for this question will be AWS Code Build, uh, code build service. let's talk about next question in this question they are asking which aws service provides a managed orchestration service that gives you greater level of control over how you run your application across multiple aws compute services the option we are having aws step functions aws code star aws cloud9 aws batch service so let's understand these services one by one if we will talk about the AWS Step Function service, it's provide a managed orchestration service that gives us a greater level of control over how we can run our application. It allows us to coordinate and visualize the components of our application as a series of steps in a workflow. That's why it is known as AWS Step Function. And it can be used to build serverless applications, microservices, and workflows that involve multiple aws services like aws lambda aws batch service amazon ecs service there are many services which can be involved in that workflow next service is aws code star service aws code star is a development service that enables us to develop build and deploy application on aws we will talk about aws cloud9 service it's an integrated development environment it's so known as ide in the cloud and it allows us to write run and debug code from a web server the last service is aws batch service which is which is a service for running batch computing workloads on aws cloud which enables us to optimize and scale our workload so it's not primarily intended for orchestrating application across multiple aws services so our answer for this question will be aws step function which allow us to manage orchestration service that gives us greater level of control over how we want to run our application across multiple aws services 
let's talk about next question in this question they are asking how can you automate a repetitive operational task across multiple aws resources the option we are having use aws cloud trail service next option is use aws system manager automation service use aws messy service use aws code build service so here we are looking for a service which can help us to automate repeated operational tasks when we are talking about this one then we have a service called aws system manager automation service which provide us a set of tools for managing and automating operational tasks on aws resources also it does uh, it allow us to create and execute workflows which is known as automation documents or we can say run books which define the steps and actions which is need to be performed on specific tasks so our answer for this question will be aws system manager automation service but let's understand other options as well we will talk about the aws cloud trail service it's a service that provide event history of our aws account activity that includes action which is taken on our aws resources also it's helpful for auditing and compliance purpose so whenever we think about the auditing and compliance purpose we will talk about the aws cloud trail service next service is aws messy service which is a service which focus on data security and protecting sensitive data which is stored in our amazon s3 storage it also help us to identify and classify sensitive data which does not offer automation feature for managing multiple aws resources which is meant, uh, asking in this question so it, it's a wrong answer last option is use aws code build so as we already discussed in this video aws code build is a fully managed build service that compiles source code run test and produces artifacts which includes docker image so here our answer will be use aws system manager automation option b is correct answer let's talk about next question which aws service is a fully managed deployment service that automates software deployment option we are having aws inspector service aws code star service aws code commit service aws code deploy service so i think we have already discussed this question in different way but let's understand these services aws inspector service which is actually for security analysis service or security assessment service aws code star service which is used for developing building and deploying application we'll talk, uh, talk about aws code commit service it's a kind of a version control system service in the last we are having aws code deploy service which is actually a service that automates code deployment and makes it make it easier to release new features so our answer for this question will be option d aws code deploy service so guys if you want to learn more about aws devops and want to participate in the quizzes so you can go to this page i'll share the link here you need to go under quiz section here we are having multiple quizzes you either you can go for aws quizzes or uh, devops quizzes so if you will go there you will see there are many quizzes available for aws devops here you can participate and also it will help you to learn about each question and he, there you will get the explanation as well for that particular question similarly we are having the quizzes for devops as well so here also you can participate in multiple quizzes which is for related to devops so guys that's it in this video i hope you find this video helpful and learn something new if you are looking for more such free technical content you can connect with me on telegram i'll share the link in the description box which can help you to learn and grow faster